Okay, I think I'm live now. All right, the numbers are rolling. Um, hello, everyone. I'm Vernier Busto. Thank you for being here. This is the Schumann Resonance Harmonics channel on YouTube and Facebook. Thank you all for being here. I appreciate all the comments and the feedback I get. Um, I haven't gotten much in the week that I've been absent working on this project, but whatever. Thank you all for those who comment when I'm, when I'm relevant. Um, if you're new here, welcome. Um, uh, remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and you will see more of my videos. And I, I hope you do, because I, I really appreciate it. I read all the comments, and I may not respond to all of them, um, but I will answer questions, and I'll answer them the best I can. Some are just like, well, I'm going to have to think about this. Um, but I do try and get back to them. You know, some like kind of, you know, pause. I'm like, I'll get back to them, and I don't. But all right, so I apologize for that. Um, all right, so... Um, all right, so this video right here is the material itself. Um, I've already done six, apparently six, introductions to this, uh, and I would recommend um, going and watching them. I'm not actually, I'm not even sure if I'm going to post them publicly, but I will be putting them in the live stream. I did them specifically for the live stream. Um, and it's been a work, it's taken me a week to get to this point, to get this far, because this is one of the more difficult assignments I've had to do. And I've been putting it off for a little while, I think, and I, I don't have that choice anymore. Um, and so uh, so for the reasons that I've talked about in the introduction, uh, introductions, um, you know, this has been difficult. Um, in a nutshell, I will just put it this way, that this issue right here, uh, talking about the telluric currents of the earth, is at the heart of the discussion of the Schumann resonances. There is what I refer to as the religion of Schumanism, which would maintain that the frequency of the Earth's heartbeat, you know, Earth's frequency, they say, is 7.8 hertz, and that's the frequency of the Earth, and because the Earth is going to be rising, the 7.83 is going to be rising as well. So that's a religious belief of Schumanism, and this belief holds that the Earth's, you know, that the Schumann resonances are equal to the telluric currents, and it's not. You know, there's a there's a correspondence between the two, but they are different things. The telluric currents are the DC circuit. That's direct current. The, the, the telluric currents, Earth electricity, as we see, this is the Earth's heartbeat. It is a DC circuit, and it's important to understand that. The Schumann resonances, by contrast, are the AC, which is alternating current, which means a wave. It's vibrating like that. It's not a direct line like the Earth's circuit is. So I've talked about this, you know, in detail, and we are going into detail about this. Um, and so as we discuss it, this is, you know, you'll understand if, if you were holding the, the view before and you weren't certain, you will start understanding now the difference between the two and you'll start understanding maybe why it's been a little bit difficult for me. Again, because I have to, in many cases, unteach and unlearn what has already been put in place improperly the first time. And so no new growth can happen. This is a principle. No new growth can happen until the, uh, the old and in the way, the, the ballast, the, 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 the scrub matter, the dead stuff can get put out of the way. You know, the lies, the, the, the misinformation, all of that. Until those are out of the way, you're always going to be subject to mm, crashing and diving because the base, the fundamental understanding is not there properly grounded into your, um, your belief system. I'll put it that way. Not sure if that's the best way to put it, but that's that's the way you know. That's the way that I'm I'm given to to think of this, that the Schumer resonances are indeed they are a scientific technical thing, and there are elements of belief in here, but this is not at the core of a belief system as the Schumanites, what I'm calling the Schumanites, the religion of the Schumer resonances, what the, that trope. I'm not even sure what the right, right, right word is, but it's a, a series of system of beliefs that is based on, predicated upon the erroneous conception, the misconception that 
Schumann resonances are the Earth's heartbeat, the Earth's vibration, essentially. Um, so because it's been an issue to have to clear this up and clarify this on, you know, on many posts on Facebook and in, else, and in comments elsewhere, because this is the most pre, the, the, the preeminent lie at the base of a lot of people's beliefs about the Schumann resonance is what it can and can't do, right? I mean, let's just look at this rationally and reasonably, right? Because many people have a misperception of what the Schumann resonances can do. They're not looking at this properly. And there are there is a lot of lies and, and misconceptions in this that needs to be cleared up. And so that's been the biggest holdup to me in doing this is, is trying to... Um, get past the inherent inertia of me not wanting to untangle the, the, the ball of knots of belief of the Schumanites. I think that summarizes it the best I can. So that's why up to this point it's been difficult to do this. Um, that's just that's my introduction to this. I've already discussed this. I'm just you know, you know if, if if you've seen the, if this is the first one you've seen, and I'm planning on putting this out there as a standalone video, you may not have seen the other videos. So I'm just giving this a quick introduction. I've talked a lot more about it and why why a lot of specifics, a lot more specifics and the and the preceding um, the precedences precedencings <laughs> to to this particular video here. Um, so. Uh, like I said, it'll, it'll definitely be on the live stream. Um, people get kind of funny about the the preceding introduction parts. And, I don't know, whatever. So I may or may not be doing that. But um, uh, uh, that information is out there. <laughs> and, and I'm sure I'll put a link to it in the description. So anyway, so with that introduction out of the way, let me get on with the material because this is the video of the actual material. Um, all right. So Earth's electricity. This is from the Annals of Geophysics. Uh, and that's the reference number there. Um, that is, right, this is your citation here of where you f find this article, okay? All right, uh, let's find a nice and easy way. Nope, that's not it. Hold on. Oh, please, system processing. Ah, okay, I'm working with um, the PDF program here. This is Adobe. Uh, Acrobat, and so it's got a lot of neat features. I'm trying to hi highlight the text, and so kind of bear with me on this. Um, um, I've been, you know, I'm still working in the studio. It's still a work in progress. I've been doing this about six months now, and I have a great studio, but I still got to figure out how it all really, you know, kind of finesse it all in. All right, so this is basically, this is a, um, it's, this is a research paper. Uh, the man's name is Daniel S. Hellman. The name is Earth Electricity a review of mechanisms which cause telluric currents in the lithosphere. Okay, by Daniel Hellman. All right, and so I'm going to just kind of read this up. Abstract. Hello, we don't want that. Abstract. Telluric cur currents are natural electrical phenomena in the earth or in its bodies of water. The strongest electric currents are related to lightning phenomena or space weather. Earth electricity can cause damage to structures and may be useful for earthquake forecasting and other applications. 32 distinct mechanisms that cause earth electricity are described. And a broad selection of current research is highlighted. Okay, so this is a somewhat long article. It's 17 pages, um, although five of those are references. So it's basically 10 pages of literature, and I've extracted in the... Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to go through all of this. I think I'm just going to go through the first seven of these. So I'm going to be making each one of these, uh, you know, each one of these... Um, sections here, like the space phenomena, that's going to be its own kind of thing. And some are longer than others and whatever. So um, there's going to be more videos in this series coming up. Um, so this particular video is just the abstract, just the introduction of this particular article so that I can kind of post this out there. I haven't posted something in a while and I need to. Um, and so this is a great first 
you know, thing for people to see. And then later on, I'll have the introductions of it. You know, the, my, my reticence uh, in doing this. So um, essentially, this is the abstract. It's uh, the tel telluric currents. It's very simple. That's why I love this article. The, the very simple abstract, easy to understand. And I have said this before. If you want to understand, if you want a good synopsis of the the research paper, you look at the abstract. That's pretty much why they do this, so you can get a good sense of what is there, just in a nutshell. And you can tell a lot about the article from the timber or the tenor of the article, uh, I'm sorry, of the abstract. Um, and so if you read the abstract, a lot of times you get a good sense and you can get a good body of, of understanding and knowledge just from reading abstracts a lot of times. Um, that's, you know, I've mentioned this before and I'll say that again, that, that abstract, the abstracts of these scientific papers are a good place to get some general kind of understandings of what it is. Um, you know, a lot of times the, 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 the material, the, the material going into it is rather lengthy. So that's kind of a thing too, you know, um, but the abstract gives you a good sense of what, you know, what the paper is and what they're doing and blah, 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 blah. Okay. So, um, so with that said, let me get my brain straight. All right. All right. So introduction, I'm going to start reading through the introduction. No, we don't want that. Introduction. Whoop. Several phenomena that, there we go. Several phenomena that can generate telluric currents have been described in scientific specializations whose members may not communicate with each other regularly. The study of this topic is both intriguing and challenging. Electric signals do not carry much of a marker to indicate how they were generated beyond magnitude, frequency, and polarization. Attenuation and new phenomena caused by transmission complicate signal characteristics. A wide range of possible applications for telluric data exists in different fields such as seismology, hydrology, mineral prospecting, geothermal prospecting, oy, planetary science, etc. For example, seismic electric signals may occur in a period leading to increased seismic risk and understanding the causes of purported seismic electric signals is critical to characterizing any extant mechanism related to electricity and earthquake phenomena. And the research is in 2011 by Verotsos et al. As another example, dissolved ions, ions in groundwater increase rock conductivity and the motion of groundwater itself creates an electric signal. And the research is uh, 1979 by Corwin and Hoover. This text is a brief selection of research in the subject meant to be a resource for further study. Along with artificial signals, earth electric phenomena are summarized in table one and table two uh, which I will be um, showing. I don't have them on the written part, uh, apparently. Um, table 1 and Table 2 lists telluric currents by frequency, magnitude, and signal duration. 32 causes of Earth electricity are described in the text that follows. Tell, 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 telluric currents are, hello, telluric currents were originally defined as natural electric currents passing through the Earth's soil or rock layers or bodies of water as opposed to its atmosphere. Artificial currents are not included, and that would be such as an artificial current. Would, an artificial current would be something like the electric power mains or the power grid, the commercial power grid. That would be, um, that would be an artificial uh, current. Okay. 
For the purposes of this paper, any electric current in a planet or on it may be classed as a telluric current. Okay. So there we have it. All right, that wasn't too bad. Um, okay, so this is, again, this is just the abstract and the introduction. I needed to kind of put this out. I needed to do something to explain where I've been for the last week. What do we have going on? Um, I'm going to be um, making a live cast, may maybe tonight, hopefully tonight, of this. Um, I'm going to also be producing some more videos about the other sections to this, the space phenomena and all of this, because this is a really good article. I kind of want this to be a reference series to people so that they have some really good solid information on the Earth's heartbeat circuit, the Earth's heartbeat function. You know, when, when we talk about me, I, when I talk to people about the Schumer resonances and I, I, it, it, it has brought to me the Schumanist belief of the Earth's vibration as the cause of Schumer resonance, as the Earth's heartbeat. Um, I try and ex explain to people, no, there is research on this, and I try to tell it to people in a very succinct way, but I really, truly just need somewhere that I can send to people, like, this is the information on that. You know, you can... You, once you have the knowledge yourself, you can look at it, and if you chose not to, to, to believe it, if you think it's all crap, that's on you. But my job is to present, the, light the way. My job is to light the way before you. So here is a lighting of the way, of the pathway for you. Um, and you can take it as you see fit. Go off the pathway, I don't care. But my job here is to make sure you understand what the proper research on this is. I have my own ideas on stuff. I'm not leading you to my own ideas. I'm giving you what the research shows. And then from that, we can have a discussion of where we diverge from that or whatever. But until we have the actual research on this, you know, ver ver verifiable, veritable proof, veritable evidence, existent evidence, what physical density is there that agrees with what we're saying, right? It's fine enough to believe whatever you want. That's fine. You don't have to change that. However, if you're putting something forth as a fact, as science, then you, you got to have the, you got to get science, right? It's, you can't, it's science, right? Um, it's, if you don't like the constraints of science, then it's, you know, come on, just let, let it be imagination and don't say it's a scientific belief. That's fine, right? This doesn't have to be complicated into someone's mind. If you don't want like what the science says and don't say my belief is based on science and then oh this is science and you know the, it's really real happening it's no because it's really not a lot of what people are saying really isn't what's happening there's other stuff that's happening that people are ignoring and not seeing right that's a thing right there's a lot of stuff that people are ignoring pretending it doesn't exist right i mean that's equally a thing that happens that there's a lot of stuff that needs addressing that people refuse to acknowledge and refuse to say we don't want to it's inconvenient it's uncomfortable that's fine that's fine it's all choice choose what you will and so that uh on that cheery note i think that ends another uh video this is i'm gonna put this out soon i still gonna make more of these um thank you all for being here i appreciate the love and support the comments uh, remember to like share comment subscribe um leave me comments if you think i'm full of bs leave them you know it doesn't matter i get credit for comments i'll thumbs up thumbs down whatever it's all good comment tell me i'm full of bs tell me i'm full of uh, tell me that i am the happy horse shit i'd love to hear that right I anyway at any rate i think it's about 20 minutes yeah i gotta go um all right so uh that's where i'm at today thank you all there's much love um i just it was time i put something out i've been you know there's a number of reasons why i'm kind of procrastinating on this um, thank you all, my wonderful, the, the terrific 10. I appreciate you all. Um, eventually, I'll meet up with you again here somewhere. All right. So thank you all for being here. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Uh, much love. Namaste.